is it true you were a great harpist, Uncle? Ah, so your dad has told you a bit about me. I was the greatest harper this land has ever seen. He likes stories. Aye. This evening, I will tell you a tragic tale of a harper that was learned his fate, was seduced by a lady, and lost that which was most precious to him. I was known for my skill, yet I wanted more, and I would do anything to secure my destiny. Strange how a few seconds can feel like a lifetime. Are we doomed to be old maids? I mean, even you, Alice, are over the marrying age. And now that Peter is going to become a knight, I mean, we might be able to be looked at as women with real status. Tis status all that matters to you. I choose to be like mother and marry for love. Help! Doris, help! A whole lifetime can flash in front of thee, yet knowing the dreaded end that is coming. Tis the prince! You intrigue me, Alice. I'd like to get to know more of your thoughts. Death, is it peaceful, painful, or is it just silent? Has one ever wondered the thoughts that would cross the mind when you were about to die? There be a darkness within me, a lust for fame, power, pleasures. To get all that you desire, you must find a maiden. I wish to wed her. My lord, you cannot take this engagement seriously. I can see my story of life, my love, and my fate. My death is silent. I feel her pulling me down to my watery grave. Da, a swan, I fear it's dead. I am certain. Fate has brought us together. She will become thy harp. Without her, you will flicker into the darkness that threatens to consume thee. You must tell me what happened on that day in the river. It plays on its own. My thoughts before death are not of regret, family, or love, but to let the truth be known, for justice to be served to the one who took away my fate and future. I, I wish to hear her story. 